And good afternoon and welcome to another day closing. I am Reverend Parker here at Community Baptist Church here in San Jose, California, 1620 Sonoma Avenue. And we're just so blessed that you're joining us again to learn what thus says the Lord. And God has another great work for us today. And this is April 7th. Yes, April 7th, Thursday. And we just want to keep you uh, studying the Word of God. Amen. And so we're going to start out in our daily devotion today with uh, James, the fourth chapter and the third verse. And it reads, Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask the miss, that ye may consume it upon your lust. Amen. And the name of this lesson today is Keys to Answer Prayer. And so let's read the lesson today. And it reads, Right motives, <clears throat> the reason you pray is much more important than the words you say. The motives is why the motive is, is the why behind the what, excuse me, and having a pure heart that loves God and God, God and love. Wait a minute, hold on. And having a pure heart that loves God and loves people is always acceptable to the Lord. Excuse me, my eyes are playing tricks here. On the other hand, Selfishness is unacceptable. Revenge is unacceptable. Manipulation and control are unacceptable. Jealousy, unacceptable. Pride is unacceptable. Praying to win the lottery, unacceptable. In fact, anything that is selfishly based is unacceptable, is an unacceptable motive. Somebody once asked a little boy if he said his prayers every night. He thought about it for a second and replied, no, some night I don't even, I don't need anything. Sounds familiar? The first and foremost reason for prayer is to develop an intimate relationship with God. Think about it. How long do you think your marriage would uh, last if you came home to see your spouse when you needed clean laundry, a good meal, and a little loving? Not very long, right? The same principle uh, applies in prayer. Jesus said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall, and it shall be done for you. John 15, chapter 7, third, uh, New King James Version. Um, when you focus on abiding in Christ, you will get a response to your asking. James writes, your prayers are not answered because you pray for selfish reasons. The truth is we're in innately self-centered. Ah, that's so true. That's why we need to purify our heart on a regular basis. And that calls for examining our motives. It may be painful at first, but you must do it if you want to see your prayers answer. Amen. And so that's what we need to do. I mean, for your prayers to be answered, you can't doubt. You got to just believe. And you can't have selfish motives. Um, God knows our hearts and God knows us. And so he knows what we need. So we need to be praying for one another that we get to come closer to God and to know him on a regular basis. And so purify your heart and continue to pray and to know that God loves you. Amen. And I'm Reverend Parker here for another daily devotion. Thank you again for joining us here at Community Baptist Church. Amen.